Her um, research was done on a group of 15th century thieves who rubbed, the, rubbed a combination of oils on themselves to avoid contracting the plague while they robbed um, dead bodies. So, um, one in every two people contracted the plague and died within 24 hours. When they were caught, these thieves, who were actually perfum perfumers and spice traders, disclosed their formula of herbs, spices, and oils. Um, and they, they, gave up, they gave up their recipe in exchange for a lighter sentence. Um, and one of the most important findings of the more than 20 case studies um, that have been completed by this researcher is that diffusing the essential oil blend not only destroys mold spores, but also removes mold spores um, dead and alive from the air. Um, and it is, it's just amazing in, in what it can do. Um, I'm, I'm a huge believer in it. I, I put it on my feet every night, like the, if I'm going to go to work the next day because that's where I'm exposed to the most noxious things. I mean, people hand me pieces of paper that are covered in germs all the time. And then they cough on me. And um, I can tell you that naturally, last year I used essential oils minimally and I was other, using other natural products. But last year through cold and flu season and this year through cold and flu season, I am last man standing at the pharmacy every time. So, but, you know, everybody else gets sick. Um, uh, Young Living has a whole line of these products, oral care, hand wash, cleaner. Um, they have, I mean, you can, your kids can drink it if they, I mean, if it were to happen, I don't think they'd have anything other than maybe, they wouldn't want to drink it anyway because it would burn their mouth, but. Right. They could if they had to. Yeah, sure, certainly wouldn't. Um, so the other thing I was going to share is I use these inner defense this is, this is, I buy these, and it has thieves in it, but um, it also has uh, oregano, thyme, and lemongrass, which are hugely potent. And um, I, these are capsules, and they're already pre-made cap in capsule form. And, you know, if, I, you know how you know your body, and you're kind of on the cusp of something, and you feel like you're about, it's either going to go one way or the other. When I feel that way... I take, I start taking these, and I'll take them for just a few days, and then, and then as soon as I don't have any of that feeling anymore, I'm done, mm -hmm. and that's it. But I will always have these. Mm -hmm. I what mean, are they called? it's called Inner Defense, and it they um, run about twenty dollars, well, twenty two dollars. I'm not sure on the price on those, but they make it really easy to stick in a bag and take with you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, as opposed to making your own capsules. Yeah. But I, I mean, I will never, ever not have these in my house. Yeah. So if y'all ever need some, you can say, hey, do you still have a bottle? I will probably be like, yeah, I've got eight. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know, I stick it in Clark's. Coil of silver. Yeah, well, and we do use Coil of yeah. Silver, which is not a Young Living product, but yeah. so, sometimes I go in that direction too. And I actually haven't used the Coil of Silver since we kind of migrated to the oils thing. Um but I, I keep that on hand, yeah, too, so it's a good, it's a, good, thing it's a good product to have. Yeah. So the inner defense, it's not something you would take a maintenance dose of all the time? Um, I would you, you, if you were If you felt the need to, you could. Um, I, you know, there was a while when the flu was just everywhere. Yeah. And at work, it was just like, I mean, I had it behind the counter. I had it in front of the counter. I mean, it was just everywhere and I was taking those every day on top of the thieves on the bottom of the foot just just for me because I I mean it was ev it was like I was I mean it was everywhere Liz on the and you were talking about probiotics earlier I take I take one that's called lacto prime and you actually keep it in the fridge and it does cost a little bit more but I other than some allergy issues I'm going on two years with no head it's, cold no flu I'm no not kidding sinus, it's, and, Huge and I'm in, I'm shaking hands yes. with people all day long. Everybody and I'm like you. I've I've been last man standing yeah. the last two years. Even when Scott got sick, yeah, and you know he's coughing and hacking and everything everywhere, and I still didn't yeah pick it up. So it's you know I mean that to me 
It's like the healthy, the healthy living testimony. It starts to stand out, and mm -hmm. people start to take notice of why are you never sick? Mm -hmm. You know, Charlie's mm -hmm. never sick at work, and he's got the same problem. Everybody's, mm -hmm. everybody's yes. always sick it's at healthy. work there too. Um, but it's a if it's you know, and, and you think, oh, that's kind of expensive. But then, if you, again, if you look at at uh, prescription. Think about for missing work for a few days. Right, yeah. right, <laughs> right, exactly. Or, but the other thing too that that I found is when people go to the doctor, they go to the doctor when they're actually sick. If they went to the doctor and they said, "I'm kind of feeling a little puny and I think I might be getting something," they probably wouldn't even get a prescription anyway. Not that they would want a prescription, but they wouldn't do that. And so, why would you want to get to full escalation mm -hmm. when you feel it? And you nip it in the bud, and it's over. Yeah. And that I don't understand because I see that all the time. I mean, people just they it, it goes full blown, and then they have to go to the doctor, and then the whole antibiotic cycle starts again. And well, it has to be full blown for the doctor to do anything. Well, right. When I took Gabriel in for pneumonia. I knew it was coming. Twelve hours later, we were back at the doctor because the previous day, I'm like, yeah, not not bad enough. Twelve hours later, we're back there. Oh, yeah, no money. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, better off doing something else. Yeah. On those capsules, I was just going to let you know that <clears throat> I will typically um, keep a stock of those, and so then I'll use my oils to make the capsules if it's more convenient You're talking, at about, home. You're talking yeah. about these. Well, yes, yes. I'll make my own, and then I'll use those for times that either I don't have time or it needs to go with me somewhere because mm -hmm. you can't mix the pre-capsules and, mm -hmm. and they last, they'll just yeah. gel up. But you'll, and you'll have to buy, I mean, it's the thieves. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think cost, I think this is pretty cost effective, honestly. Well, it may be, but I, I always, I always have the oils, yeah. but I just, I'm always afraid that Clark's going to need some, a bottle and it's just easy to throw that in there. Yeah. So, you know. That's yeah. what I do. I mean, I, and I keep all the, all the other yeah. ingredients, too, but yeah. um, it is a great option. Yeah, it's, my, it's one of my favorites. Um, Panaway is another blend of oils, and it's, I think it used to be called Panaway a long time ago. It did, yeah. 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 Um, and it's got wintergreen and helichrysum, which is an, an odd-sounding um, oil that is highly potent. Um, it reduces inflammation and swelling, uh, relieves discomfort from arthritis, sprains, bumps, bruises, muscle spasms, cramps, sciatic pain, growing pains, supposedly improves circulation um, and decreases bru bruising. Um, Helichrysum is anti-inflammatory and reduces muscle spasms. Um, Scott might be interested. No, in that. is that what you made him a sample of? <laughs> No, but I can make him a sample of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was actually thinking of the Kokaiba, too, for him, mm -hmm. that that might be. So that's that's not, the Kokaiba is not in the kit, but you can buy them, you know. So um, this would be good for restless leg syndrome, that sort of thing? That's restless, I would, that's I would probably go with Frank yeah. for restless leg syndrome because it's neurological. Mm -hmm. uh, that would yeah I, I, I agree yeah. I agree um, but would you would you talk about Panaway? <laughs> I have some issues with inflammation in my toes and um, it, it, it's got arthritis and it comes on just boom real quick and gets really nasty really quick and Liz gave me some Panaway and I just put a little drop on there and really within five minutes the pain goes away. At, from make you want to cry pain to the pain goes away. And at night I put it on before I go to bed. In the morning, the inflammation's pretty much gone. This past weekend I was gone for three days, two days, and I didn't have it with me. And I came back on Monday and I, all of a sudden my, my toes hurt. So I took my boots off and looked at my toes. I took a picture of them and sent them to Liz. I said, this is gross, but look at my toes. And they were just... It was funky. It was terrible. Uh -huh. Even with um, like an ulcer on top of it, just boom, real quick. And I put the pan away on, and within, I probably took 15 minutes then because they were so bad, and it quit. Wow. Wow. What about fibromyalgia? My mother suffered from fibromyalgia. 
course on that, and every medication has a terrible side effect. Yeah. I, well, if I were myalgia, they say is an autoimmune. Mm -hmm. um, I would probably. I could look it up in our book. Yeah, too. but I would probably start with mm -hmm. Frank. Mm -hmm. For sure, because since it, it's it's also neurological, probably based. internally, I would yeah, do internally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's <clears throat> the interesting thing. Um, I mean, we got two more oils to go, and then I'll tell you a couple more stories. The I, oh, my story with thieves. I have a friend of mine who is a pharmacist, and Charlie and I. Um, Charlie knows her husband, and. We went out to dinner with them about a month ago, and Berkeley told me that Brielle, her youngest, her middle daughter, who is like 12 or 13 years old, had mono. And um, mono, bad mono. I mean, she said her glands were swollen straight down, and she'd been out of school for two weeks. And her spleen was terribly enlarged, and she was worried that her spleen was going to rupture because mm -hmm. her glands were so swollen. And um, so I told her, I said, meet me the next day in McKinney, and I'll give you a rollerball of thieves. So I talked to, we met up, and I said, okay, use your roller, use it here, and then roll it down her spine. I said, do it two or three times a day. And um, I talked to her a week later. It was, a, it was a week and a day later, two days later. And she had taken her back to the doctor that Monday. So it's been, mm -hmm. it was Saturday when we saw him Sunday. She started on Sunday, so it's been seven days. She took her back to the doctor. The doctor said her spleen was of normal size and she could resume, resume, resume going to school. Mm -hmm. And um, I talked to Berkeley today. That was like a month ago. And I talked to Berkeley today, and both of her boys are, now have the flu right now, oh. and um, she said, Brielle's been fine, she hadn't been sick at all, and I said, well, do you have, if you have any of these, like, you might ought to just put it on her so she doesn't get it, and she's like, I can't, I just honestly can't believe, she was going to come tonight, but, because she's got two sick boys, she yeah. couldn't, Yeah. but um, she said, I just can't believe that she went from being that swollen to being cleared, not not just to go back to school, but to go back and resume normal activities. Because usually it takes the spleen a long time to go down in size, so you don't have to worry about your spleen rupturing if you're in mm -hmm. volleyball or sports uh -huh. or something. So um, cool. that was, I was kind of grasping at straws with the thieves with her, um, and there wasn't really anything that really talked about mono much. And so, I mean, I'm now I know yeah. if somebody has mono, that that's... A yeah. go-to for sure. I mean, because normally with mono, you just wait it out. And sometimes you have to wait a really long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, like months. And she mm -hmm. said Brielle's not even tired. Really? Yeah. Like, doesn't have the fatigue that usually accompanies mono. So, mm -hmm. anyway, she's cool. she's very interested. So, yeah. And she's a pharmacist, too, by the way. Um, the, see, we, did we do... Did we do Panaway? Did we do this? Not I'm sorry. I'm behind. I was listening. <laughs> Panaway is the only one because it's got wintergreen on it. It's got a safety cap on it just in case some little kid decided to eat it. Um, wintergreen well, of course can have um, blood thinning properties. And that, that brings up a point. I mean, these are oils. They are God-made. They are not man-made. But remember that Everything in moderation. I mean, don't go willy-nilly. You can't be allergic to these because there's no protein. The essential oils do not have proteins in them. They're composed mostly of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I think there's one oil, and I can't remember if it's high salt maybe, that has a nitrogen in it. Um, but a protein has to have an amino group. If you know anything about chemistry, the amino group has to have nitrogen in it. So, um, an allergen has to be a protein. Yeah. If you can have a reaction to the oil, if you have a reaction to the oil, um, back off because you're detoxing most likely. Mm -hmm. And if you think about having a mask on your face done, you do it. You know.